let's go through some of the basics here. Uh, I'm going to teach this back like I'm assuming you're all in grade 9 right now and you don't remember anything about exponents, which is fine. Okay, if you're in my grade 9 class, um, and I think Adam told me what it was, this will be completely reviewed because I'll teach it the same way as that. Okay, so I'll start with all the, the first basic law is going to be this one. If I say x squared times x cubed, what is x squared times x cubed going to be? <laughs> x to the fifth. Okay, now the reason that is. <laughs> okay, is that x squared means that there's two x's, x squared means that there's three x's, so all together there's five x's. Okay, you can ignore that middle step, okay, you don't need to show that middle step, but that's the reason um, why it is. Okay, so in general, our first law is x to the a uh, times x to the b is equal to x to the a plus b. And that hope you guys remember back from a few years ago. Uh, if you haven't guessed, or this whole unit's on exponents. Okay, that's what this entire unit's on. Okay. Let's do a few examples to make sure that um, life is good. Now, one thing I should mention is that the bases have to be the same. Okay, and I'll do an example, a few examples here, excuse me, to make sure life is good. So, example one, I'll do A. Can someone be brave, please, and tell me what 2 cubed, 2 4, 2 to the 5th equals, please? And you'll go. 2 to the 12. 2 to the 12. And then can you explain to the class how you got that? 3 to the 4 plus 5. 3 to the 4 plus 5. Now, there will be someone in the class, let's call him Brad. Sorry, Brad, if I can't your name today. Brad will do 2 cubed in this calculator, and then times 2 to the 4, and then times 2 to the 5. In this unit, just leave it in terms of exponents, okay? Leave exponents in there. If people don't, I will start doing examples like number two. Okay, now that is too big for Brad's calculator. Okay? Can someone other than Brad, sorry Brad, uh, can someone other than the front row that will take the whole front row out of there, tell me what that equals, please. Please, go ahead. So what she did there is, and I'll probably do this in class just to make sure that life is good. So what she did there was she just added 15,000 to 2,345. Now, because this is grade 11, I'm going to make things confusing for you. I'll do one more difficult example, then we'll move on to something more from us fun. Oh, good golly. Now we have variables in there, and that's what this unit is getting into. Does somebody want to be brave? Liam the radical, sorry. I'll come back in a second. Does someone other than Liam um, want to be brave here and tell me what we're going to do here? <laughs> now, Luke, go ahead. Uh, 2 to the 4x. Right, very good. Can you explain to the class how you got that? Uh, x plus 3x. Okay, so x plus 3x is 4x and then 3 plus 4 is 7. Okay, are most people feeling sort of okay with what's going on here so far? Okay, one last example, then we'll move on. I've got everyone to try this there, so I'm going to go for... Okay. Now that one looks horribly frightening. Okay? okay you guys are brave grade 11 students. Okay, Andy, can someone be brave and give me a, an in-between step here before just giving me the final answer? I know you guys are all highly intelligent human beings, okay? So you can do this all in one step in your head, but I mean, if you give me an in-between step, I might want to use. Gather like terms. Yeah, gather like terms. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write all the twos together. Three to the eight, three squared, x, three, six. Now, can I bring the twos and the threes together and make it six? I see one person shaking his head, no one you can't, okay? Because even though 2 times 3 equals 6, 2 to the 5 times 3 to the 8, like there's more 3s and 2s there, right? So only keep the base the same. And some of them, Liam, we've done a wonderful job today. Tell me, please, what the final answer here is going to be. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Um, X, 7, yeah. 4, 8. Great. Now, generally we put the numbers in, you said X to the 7, but this is just like 
regular algebra, and it wouldn't say x3, it'd say 3x. Right? It's just the same as that. I'm going to start with the numbers first and the other time. Okay, are there any questions on people that people have before we keep going here? Sort of good? Yeah. Yes? We're all good? Good. All right, wonderful. Let's get to division right now. Let's go for maybe uh, 2 to the 5 divided by uh, 2 cubed. Liam, I'm sorry, I'm snubbing you. You're a master of I'm sorry, I'll come back to you in a minute here. Can some of them, Liam, please tell the class here what 2 to the 5 divided by 2 cubed is? Adam, go ahead. 2 to the 5 or 2, how'd you get that? Yeah, subtract the exponents, good. I'll do it the grade 9 way when I show it like that. So there's 5 2's on the top, there's 3 2's on the bottom, and we're just going to cross out 3 2's. The top of the bottom of the two. In general, what this means is we're going to say um, x to the m over x to the n is x to the m minus n. And I should probably also say that x cannot be zero. Okay, why can x not be zero? Does this all come back to people, I hope? Yes? If it won't too slow, let me know and I'll pick up the pace. But I just want to make sure you guys fundamentally understand all this stuff. Um, so that when we actually have to use this later on, you can say, yeah, I got it. Yes, I understand that. Yes? Um, just a small question. Why yeah. do you use n and n pair with a and b? Uh, it doesn't matter. It's just some letters. It is variable. Yeah. All I'm saying is you can put in anything for x, anything for m, anything for n, and like these laws that still apply the same way. Okay, so here we go. Let's go to example two. Now uh, let's go to two to the thirteen divided by two to the five. What is two to the thirteen divided by two to the five, please? exponents in a second, but I just gave you your first negative exponent. And this is one that gets people mixed up. So you know, I'm going to come to you in a second. I want everyone to think about this for a second, because this gets people mixed up every year. Grace, go ahead. Very good. How'd you get 28? Very good. Okay. So what she did correctly was 23 minus negative 5, which is like 23 plus 5. I know you're saying, yeah, I'm a genius math student, which you all are. Okay, so you get that, but that's a very common mistake to make. All right, I want you to try this one for me on your own. I'm going to stop in the video and give you guys a chance to catch up. This will be the most difficult question I can think of. Most difficult thing I can think of. I'm going to hit pause in the video. I'd like you to simplify that for me, please. Everyone give it a try here. Okay? 